Pleased to be joined on Halton News by the candidate representing the Green Party in Milton for the May 2nd by-election, Kyle Hutton. Thanks for doing this. Thank you very much, Jason. Happy to be here. Well, I wanted to take this opportunity to let our viewers, which are Milton voters, to get to know you a little. So who is Kyle Hutton? Uh, so I uh, am Tara Green's member, as mentioned. I joined back in 2019. I was originally a liberal for a very long time. Uh, I was kind of upset by Justin Trudeau's several broken promises. Uh, and that kind of shifted me towards the Greens because I've always been a big environmental voter. Um, I haven't looked back since. I ran in 2022 in Burlington Riding. And uh, when the Milton by-election opportunity came up, I have spent a lot of my time working particularly with the folks in North Burlington. So Kilbride, Mount Nemo, Lowville, areas like that, uh, which is part of the Milton Riding. And I said, you know what? I'd be more than happy to represent those folks as well as learn about more about the but the community of Milton and Campbellville and uh, run as part of Mark Schreiner's strong green team and hopefully add uh, to our caucus to be our third member, tripling our original seat count in 2022. So you have run in Burlington before. Now you're shifting over to Milton. Uh, where's home base for you? I'm so I'm just in North Burlington, uh, just okay. south of Dundas. So technically just outside of the riding, but Ward 3, which is the Burlington uh, one of the Burlington wards uh, covers both where I live as well as everything north of Dundas, except for a sliver near Appleby. Um, I spent most of my political career working with Ward 3 residents. Um, so I felt it was just a natural extension because Milton riding is not just the town of Milton. It's also North Burlington. A lot of those folks, especially when I've gone to the doors, feel they, they tend to feel left out. Um, and I figured, you know what, I know a lot of their issues, especially around Nelson Quarry, which is linked uh, really closely with the Campbellville Quarry issue. Um, I figured, you know what, this is a good opportunity for me to run, represent their issues, make sure their voice gets heard, as well as the folks in Campbellville and within the town of Milton for any number of issues from the Campbellville Quarries to housing uh, to healthcare. Obviously, you, you've you've named off a whole bunch of different issues that fall right into, you know, the green MO because there is so much green up in Milton. But two of the other names on the ballot on May 2nd will be Zeeshan Hamid of the Conservatives, Galen Nadu Harris of the Liberal Party. What's your strategy to pull voters away from these two individuals that are both very well known in the Milton community? Yeah, absolutely. So we just had a debate last night, actually, uh, with the House of David and the African Caribbean community of Halton, uh, where Zeeshan and Galen, as well as Edie Stratch and the uh, NDP candidate were all there. We had a, a wonderful talk. Um, but there is a clear difference between all of us, particularly between myself and Zeeshan Hamid, who I think is a wonderful guy. But he's running for Doug Ford's team, and Doug Ford has not kept his promises on, again, a number of issues from the Campbellville Quarry, which he made back in 2018, saying he would stop it, to housing, which he's acting like a, a gatekeeper, to use a, a quote from a federal politician, um, to healthcare, how he's brought forward Build 124, which has thankfully been shot down, but how he disrespected our healthcare workers and our education workers, uh, leading to so many of them leaving the province and the sector. Um, it's very clear there's a difference between our priorities as Greens and what Doug Ford's priorities are. And Zeeshan, again, great guy. He's running for the wrong team in this instance. Uh, as for between myself and Galen, again, we have a lot of the, a very similar uh, platform points. However, the Liberals, you know, I'm going to be honest, I was used to be a Liberal. I'm not sure they fully learned their lesson from 2018. I think in a lot of instances, they're still thinking that they can get back in. And they seem to be very cynical about it. This is why they have decided to backtrack suddenly on the carbon pricing. Uh, Bonnie Crombie announced last week, I think it was, that she was going to pull back and there would be no carbon pricing in Ontario. And now she set up this nebulous uh, committee to look into how they're going to deal with climate change. When, you know, we had cap and trade prior. We've talked about carbon pricing for ages here. It's not the perfect solution, but it is an effective solution. Um, but they just want a few extra points in the polls. Greens stick by our principles. We stick by our 2022 platform, which call for an increase on particularly the industrial carbon price. And we're sticking by that now. We're not going to flip flop just to gain a little bit of favor because there's a popular slogan at the federal level. And I think that's the main difference. So Kyle, if you are elected, what's your first order of business? So first order of business, I want to move on the Campbellville Court. I want to get Doug Ford and the PCs to bring forward MZO, which they have been 
more than willing to use for any number of projects uh, to stop development of Campbellville Quarry, full stop. They did it for the Dolan Quarry in Guelph uh, way back, I think it was 2019 or 2021, I can't remember exactly. Um, they can do it for Campbellville Quarry. Uh, they can set up the moratorium that everybody has been asking for for years now to also stop the expansion at Nelson Quarry in North Burlington. Um, those are my first goals right away. Second, I get into Queens Park. That is my priority. But I also want to make sure we start moving on housing. I want to, if possible, reintroduce the bill that Mike Schreiner reintroduced uh, for fourplex across the province that got shunted off the committee by the Ford government. They're doing the same thing with the same liberal bill. Um, I want to reintroduce that until we actually get Doug Ford to stop being a gatekeeper on housing and start building as he promised in 2022. All right, and finally, I like to end all of my interviews with candidates by giving them the floor. Why should Milton residents vote for you and the Green Party on May the 2nd? I think the best thing to do is send Doug Ford a message. The by-election is not going to change the balance of power at Queen's Park. Uh, when whoever wins this, there's still going to be a Doug Ford majority government. So you can send a message instead to say, listen, the entire Greens have the priorities people want on housing, on health care, on protecting our green spaces, which Doug Ford had a lot of trouble doing uh, since he was re-elected in 2022. Um, we are a party that sets the trend on a lot of these issues. And we saw in Kitchener Centre late last year with the election of Ashton Clancy doubling our caucus to two, how that message resonates. Imagine what we could do with a third member at Queen's Park for the Ontario Greens telling Doug to be hold to his promises. There you have it. Kyle, appreciate your time this morning. Best of luck on May the 2nd. Thank you very much, Jason.